Hi folks, my name's Ashley, I'm one of the founders of Skira, and in this video I'm going to show you a few of the highlights of the Construct 3 release 449. Let's jump in. Now, our first big new feature in this release is the in-editor asset browser. So I've just created a new project, and by default this now appears at the bottom of the screen here. This allows you to easily browse assets like graphics and sound effects and all sorts of other kinds of things for your game and easily import them to the project. Um, we've started it off loaded up with um, all the free assets from Kenny which is a, a great uh, place to start. There's loads of great stuff there and you can easily drag and drop stuff into your uh, project. Um, so just to show you how that works, here's the animal pack. Uh, I can look inside the um, folders here and I can just drag and drop this elephant and it's created a sprite with that image inside the project. You can also right click on it and there's different ways uh, to uh, import that and uh, a few other options there to try out as well. So the asset browser will appear at the bottom of your screen by default. If you uh, don't see it there, uh, you can always choose view, bars and asset browser and that will show it up for you. You can, of course, also, like everything else in user interface, move it around and dock it however you like to suit the user interface to your own needs. There's a few other features worth covering here. So uh, if you just um, look, there's a search here, so you can search through all the available assets easily. I've just searched for ice, and there's some, uh, some icy looking assets there that I can uh, import to the project. Um, and there's also uh, a variety of sources you can use to um, get assets from. So we've got the uh, Kenny bundled uh, free assets there. Um, there's also, if you have a subscription, then you get some free premium bundled assets, which will show up there. Uh, if you've purchased assets from the uh, store, then they'll appear here as well. And you can also choose local assets and um, add a folder from your local system, and it will be able to browse all the assets from the folder on disk inside the asset browser as well. So that gives you lots of ways to uh, bring together all the assets that you might want to use in your project and uh, easily browse them and import them into your project. So we think that'll be useful for beginners and uh, more experienced users alike. So uh, we hope you enjoy using that. Next up, I'm just going to close that for now. And I'm going to talk a bit more about our um, Construct Game Services uh, plugin. So we've been working on some online services for uh, games, which we're calling Construct Game Services. Previously, this plugin allowed you to submit a high score to the Construct Arcade. It was very simple. You just needed to use the submit score action. Uh, we've now gone a lot further with the features of this plugin, and I'm just going to open a sample project to demonstrate this. The big new thing that we've added is authentication. We've now got a, a series of 13 uh, login providers, um, including uh, Google, Microsoft, uh, Steam, Discord, and uh, several others. And you can use these to create a login for your game. So it's very straightforward. Construct Game Services takes care of all the complication for you. So all you need to do is add this plugin to your project and use the um, authentication actions. So in this case, I'm going to use sign in with uh, Microsoft as a provider, and um, that will bring up a pop-up window with um, a login for a Microsoft account. Um, and once that completes, you'll get a, a, a unique ID for the player and access to the name. And then this authentication can be used also now with leaderboards uh, across other export options. So it's no longer tied to just the Construct Arcade. You can make use of leaderboards with any of Construct's export options. And of course, this authentication also works with all of Construct's export options, desktop apps, um, mobile apps, uh, and web browsers, of course. So this is a great new feature we're excited about. Um, makes it very easy to have uh, an account system for your game. We've got plenty more to come with the Construct Game Services. We're planning things like Cloud Save and uh, a variety of other things, which will also make use of the authentication so that you can uh, log in and save your progress in a game and so on. So stay tuned for more updates about that. Uh, another thing I'm going to cover in this video is we've got a, um, a new option for the 3D shape object called backface culling. Um, so just uh, in case uh, you're wondering what on earth that means, it's a fancy term uh, that means automatically hide the faces that point away from the camera. 
So here are three 3D shapes. One's um, fully opaque with all faces showing. One is the top is missing and this one's semi-transparent. And there's no back face culling. I've just turned it off, so that's how things normally look. And if I enable back face culling, then you'll see the um, faces of the shape that uh, point away from the camera have disappeared. So for the opaque shape, um, this doesn't make any difference really, but it's a, it's a nice optimization because it won't try to spend any time rendering those faces that you can't see anyway. Uh, and you can see the middle one looks a little bit odd because the um, uh, faces, uh, some of the sides just aren't appearing. But where it might be useful in particular is you see this semi-transparent uh, shape at the bottom here. Um, if you turn off back face culling, you can see the other faces through it uh, with the semi-transparency and if you turn it on, uh, those all disappear. So that might be something you want to make use of for your um, art style. For example, an icy cube, uh, you might prefer it if you can only see those front faces and not see the back ones as well. So that's a nice uh, little feature for um, 3D shape. Um, that's all I'm going to cover in this video. As ever, there are plenty more additions. There's been several optimizations to the engine, uh, lots of uh, adjustments, lots of bug fixes. So do see the release notes for the full details. And we have also got a set here of um, several new examples. Uh, there's some great uh, new examples to check out here. We've also got a, a new scripting API to be able to draw custom content to the screen from code. So we've got examples of that with JavaScript and with TypeScript. Uh, we've got a whole new demo game called Myth Insects, uh, which you can try out. This is a um, great new uh, game with a few levels, um, uh, one of our slightly more fleshed out uh, demo games. So have a play with that. Um, it's very cool. Uh, and there are um, some great other examples like Solar System is an excellent use of timelines. And um, so yeah, have, have a look at all of those. And uh, that's all for this video. Thanks for listening and we hope you enjoy using Construct.